the price to hire a carabo and plow to clean weeds from crops. Welcome to the farm and maintenance basic engineering channel. So you have decided to or have moved to the Philippines. Many foreigners decide to start a business in the Philippines as a means to produce a stable source of income living here. There are several kinds of businesses you can open in the Philippines as a foreigner maybe in partnership with a Filipina wife or girlfriend. One option is to have a small holding, a little bit of land which you can raise animals and crops on. One popular crop in the Philippines is corn which can be sold or processed to use as animal feed on the farm to increase profits and reduce animal feed costs. Hey we would like just to ask you for a favor, hit the like and subscribe buttons, it's free but really helps us. Check out our other videos on the farm and maintenance, basic engineering channel to learn other ways to make money and increase productivity on your farm small holding or business in the Philippines. Growing corn, weed growth can cause issues. Weeds are most competitive during the first 40 days of corn growth, in the wet season and at high nutrient levels. Weed control involves high crop density, application of fertilizer to promote corn establishment, intero cultivation and application of herbicides. One popular method is the use of a carabo and plow to clean and bury the weeds in Turo. Dero Kabor meaning plow and carabo costs 500 pesos per day to plow a quarter hectare. That includes carabo, plow and handler operator. Kabor is carabo or water buffalo in Cebuano by Cyan. The carabo is a domestic water buffalo and is considered the national animal of the Philippines. In the Philippines the carabo is used as an animal of labor to plow fields, carry loads and pull carts, particularly for small rural farmers. It also provides a source of milk and meat. For most farmers, the carabo is a mainstay in farm work. It is their tractable, reliable, and uncomplaining ally in the myriad of tasks undertaken in the field. It is also harnessed for transport purposes in the rural areas. No wonder it was dubbed a beast of burden. Despite being replaced in some of the most important farm tasks by small farm machinery, the caribou has not only made a successful comeback but has also become more significant to millions of farmers, changing people's lives and being the center for vibrant caribou-based enterprises. They are useful when coupled to a sled and used to transport items especially in hilly and difficult terrain. Water buffalo are well adapted to a hot and humid climate. Water availability is of high importance in hot climates since they need wallows, rivers, or splashing water to reduce the heat load and thermal stress. Mud, caked onto its body, also protects it from bothersome insects. The carabo feeds mainly in the cool of the mornings and evenings. Its lifespan is 18 to 20 years. The female carabo can deliver one calf each year. The knot on the carabo's nose is done while the animal is still young. It's just like a cow's ear piercing for an identification tag. So as the carabo grows the rope becomes more comfortable for them. It does not hurt or bother them. It is the way to control and tame the animal. If not with their strength they would be difficult to control and be unsafe. Darrow is plow in Cebuano by Cyan. A large farming implement with one or more blades fixed in a frame, drawn by a tractor or by animals and used for cutting furrows in the soil and turning it over, especially to prepare the ground soil for the planting of seeds. The weed cleaning task in the corn. Land preparation or soil tillage is one of the most expensive and critical operations conducted on a farm each season. The purpose of plowing between the rows of corn a number of times while it is growing is to control weed growth. To disrupt their root systems and bury the weed rubbish to prevent further growth. The weeds grow in competition with the corn and take nutrients from the soil. 
Normally two to three secondary workings are done after primary tillage and before or after planting but this will depend on the cloddiness of the soil, the number of weeds and the need to incorporate fertilizer. Why is carabo preferred by farmers over tractors? There are still many farmers in some areas of the Philippines who do not use tractors. Among other reasons, lower operating costs which encouraged tractor use in the past have been affected by rising fuel and oil prices, which in turn, have led to higher contractor rates, making some farmers hesitant to fully adopt tractors. As an example Carabo, on the other hand, plow a hectare in an average of 44 hours, harrow in 36 hours, level in 14 hours, and side cultivate in 3 hours. A two-wheel tractor plowing and harrowing a hectare of land takes a total of 37.1 hours or 4.65 days, while plowing and then rotivating takes only three days. A four-wheel tractor, on the other hand, is able to prepare a hectare in 16.1 hours, plowing plus harrowing, or 9.6 hours, plowing plus rotivating, that is, in either 2.1 days or 1.2 days. In the case of a carabo, land preparation takes 133 hours or 16.6 days if the carabo works 8 hours a day or 22 days if it works only 6 hours a day. Needless to say, the farmer can always employ as many carabo men teams as he wants to finish the task as early as possible. Care and feeding of carabo is relatively easy since the feed is gathered directly from the field. Some supplemental medicine is provided by municipal agricultural offices especially when there are threats of epidemics. A problem arises, however, during the dry season when feed and grazing areas are scarce. Some chemical applications can also poison the animals. Carabo are usually maintained by the farmer a son, another member of the family, or a regular farm help employed for the job. Average time devoted to carabo care and maintenance is 3.5 hours per day. Carabo are used in the field for an average of 5 hours daily for plowing and less than 7 hours per day for harrowing. Farmers who do not own carabo have to use the services of a contractor who supply the carabo, plow or implement and a operator. Farmers are cautious in choosing contractors. They usually check the quality of the contractor's services on other farms before hiring a contractor. There can be issues with high contract rates and the lack of ready cash to pay contract fees by the employing farmer due to cash flow issues. There can be issues also with carabo users. The most important problem can be the unavailability of animals during peak periods. Problems in carabo ownership and use The most common difficulties are the fear that the carabo would become sick or poisoned by chemicals and the apprehension about carabo thieves. Carabo could not be used continuously for long hours. A carabo usually works in the field for an average of about 5 to 7 hours per day. There can be difficulty in maintaining carabo due to the lack of feed, especially during the dry season. Eventually carabo become old and therefore weak. Finally in conclusion carabo are considered important for the farmer despite their slow and tedious pace in the field. If you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell to ensure you receive notifications as soon as a new video is released. Check out our other videos on the farm and maintenance basic engineering channel to learn other ways to save money and increase productivity on your farm, small holding or business in the Philippines. Thank you for watching.